Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zerg and today we're starting the Rift Baker proper. So start the campaign, what are we gonna call it? Broadside God, there we go. Let's build some bases. Ooh fancy cutscene. This intro is actually really cool. Usually I'd skip it, but I quite like this. Houston, I've spotted something near the LZ. Oh. It's closing in. Clever girl. Yeah, I said I was going to do some research on the game before I actually started when I was in the prologue and uh, I might not have done it. So we'll learn together. There we go. That's that's my, that's a broadside promise. We'll do some learning together. There we go. Peter is using my, oh, I missed that. So we've got some Planet Galatea 37. Aronium. We have arrived. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. Let's just clear this out a bit. Tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. Right. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Get drilling. Construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. I suppose that's the fancier version that I can't afford. Just plop that there. Is this is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37. Our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic Fair. training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. Get some miners down. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. And want some energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Stick on there. Yeah, we'll stick another one down and then we'll connect all up to the base. I do like that I can just do a bit of drilling. I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Ashley, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their 
have not have enough carbonium or do I not need carbonium for that? Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. So do, I think I need to put these closer. That's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses. Just right. in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Oh, there's another cop I need to deposit. There are some of these trees. Oh, more carbonium. Okay, so they are working because I've got the power. I can see the powers up there. That's fine. That's all good. some wind turbines Connect those up to there stick that to the base okay So we need an armory, but we don't have enough. I'm just I'm gonna just call it iridium because I'm every time I read it, it's iron ironum. Uh, my brain just says iridium, and it's gonna annoy me. So it's iridium. How much do I need? More. Just plonk that down next to the base. Let's just start putting in some rudimentary defences. Got some choke points, that's what I need. And see what else is around. I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. I'm already on it, Mr. Riggs. Ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, so we have some solid material storage going as well. I still don't quite understand that. Okay. We'll just drill some more. We'll figure it out. I'm going with it'll probably all be fine.
Because why wouldn't it be? Just got to stay positive, yo. Is that all connected? Yeah, that's all connected. Cool. Stick two of those in just, you know, because why not? Uh, what else do I need? So I need some actual defences. lacking our oh, carbonium and I do need to make some more AI cores okay that'll do for now get all these let's hook it up to the grid They're working all right. It's back here. And there's a wall there. I could choke that off. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence has been noticed. Ashley, we don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. I guess you were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Where are they coming from? Okay, they're coming from the way I have not defended. Give him a slap in. No, I'm not skeptical at all. About the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Nah, fuck the ecosystem. Very habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Yep, they care about the local environment is unnecessary. I'm with Mr. Riggs on this one. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We are not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? Never doubt the mission. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to Damn defend it. ourselves and secure the uh, necessary resources lag. to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress, or oh, do we? we huh? Study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Or, and hear me out on this, we strip mine it and build ourselves giant gold palaces. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we have the base up and running. 
This isn't fucking Avatar. You have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. I mean, it's kind of like Avatar, but with less, like, weirdness. Yeah, the rain's over. Okay. So I need to get some more defenses in. There's not many choke points. Geothermal vent. Fuck you, trees, get out of my way. Uh, storage, right. Slightly out of line, unacceptable. I'm not doing anything with this carbonium over here. Uh, okay. Must be built on top of a carbonium ore deposit for its good power output, but uses the resources, blah, blah, blah. More resources. Right, what else do we need? Some sort of defences to the south, probably. As it's just open ground. With a big dinner bell. Sitting around its neck. Do. Let's get these connected up to the grid. Not sure how necessary that is, but I'm going to go with the boot and braces approach for now. There doesn't seem to be any sort of downside to over preparing it slightly. These working? Yep, yeah, these working. Cool. These are working as well. To the wall there. those in and get those up on the grid as well A little break here I'm literally just playing this like a wood age of darkness 
which is uh, badly. Get that slotted in as well. There we go. Damn these trees. Right. Make some room for some more factory. Right, so we've got southern part kind of defended. Oh, the grid is... More storage facilities. More storage facilities, you say? Okay. You're the boss. Produces energy out of plant biomass from destroyed. Okay. I mean, I have been destroying a lot of things. Just plop it down there, see what happens. over here but can I do anything with this geothermal vent it's like a geothermal and turbine solar panel geothermal vent maybe not or maybe not at the moment Bad dogs. The rocks there. Oh, they follow me. Up yours. Okay, time to break build the great wall of fuck you, this is mine. Calls. What's this? A swamp of some kind. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Wind speed is at a low today. Wind turbines are less effective. Oh no, not my turbines. I need those. I mean to build that one. And get this connected up to the grid as well. No doubt I will become slightly more efficient at doing this in the future but for right now I'm not damn you save thinging whatever it is all right that's connected up
Okay, let's get some power storage going in. A little bit closer to the base, because I honestly at this point don't know what holes I've left anywhere. I'm going to assume I've left quite a few. We need some AI hubs. So we'll just stick him here. Uh, it's so messy, I hate it. I think we'll stick a rift portal over by the far left as well just so I can nip over if anything gets sketchy okay so there's a hole here and we just get that in this isn't exactly going to hold off much but I mean it'll Give me fair warning if something bad's about to happen. Like that right now. Alright. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Ironium, okay, that's how you pronounce it. Right. I'm with ya. Uh, where are my guns? Right, there's my gun. I think... I think, I think, we're mostly closed in. And do we have guns pointing everywhere? Almost. Ah, I'm stuck on my own miners. No, this isn't Valheim. Stop pressing tab. Tab does nothing. And there's a little gate up there. So I think that's a bit far out, so we'll just we'll pull it back a bit. Right, we'll we can close it here. I think that's us somewhat defended. Though I'm not sure about the right side. Oh no, that's not us defended at all. There's a big fucking hole in the base. Okay. Damn my hubris. Damn these trees. And damn your eyes. Bloody things. They did say we don't have to deforest and pillage the planet. But I take that more as a challenge. 
Gonna have a lovely factory. Let's see what's out this side. Another vent. Delicious aliens. See, I'm not killing those. The little happy squeaky aliens. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you, little squeaky alien. I mean, I, I, I'm not killing them on purpose. I'm not a monster. I'm just looking for bits of wall, really. Okay. They're coming right at me. Okay, this will do. Let's get these on the grid. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Daisy chain this back to the base. Are they all powered? Yeah, they're powered. Nice. And more carbonium, lovely. Damn you, trees. Get out of my way. Hate your trees. Need to get these on the grid quickly. We'll build a new grid. Some buildings don't have enough power. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. you on about Mr. Riggs there's loads of power Some rocks there okay we'll block this there completely misplaced that one that's fine completely have carbonium
swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Why have you got no power? You're not hooked up to anything? Oh shit. I may have overbuilt. Oh good, the power's back. Yeah, I might have slightly overstretched. Ever so slightly. They need to put some gates in though, because I can't actually get out of this bloody thing. Yeah, in a minute, Mr. Riggs. Jesus. He's so needy. I mean, I really should start using some of the like, Ironium for stuff. Because I'm currently just doing nothing with it. Um... Do, 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 do. Blaster, small machine gun, sword. Can I do anything? Build a communication hub to enable that. Okay, maybe I should have built that like fucking hours ago. Oh, I need to upgrade the... Okay. Come on, Carbonium. I'm really rinsing through my Carbonium. Fine. Everything's fine. See, this is why Ugg is slightly better at the builder games than me, because I just I kind of go at it like a mad kitten. How many times do I have to cut you down, tree? Right. I think base is just about fully covered now. We'll pop one of those down there just so I can jump between them. Right, also, we've hit about the 40 minute mark. I have no idea what I'm doing. So we'll carry this on next episode. So we'll save it there. So if you've been enjoying the um, content so far, well, I hope you have. You know, it's, I'm still trying to get to grips with the game. But uh, yeah, if you've been enjoying it, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notification. It really does help us out. And until the next episode, take it easy and I'll see you later.